Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, Betty Boop. Good to see you here. Missed you yesterday. Oh, my goodness, you guys. We've got a little rain here this morning, but temperatures are leveling out, so it's going to be a great day. This is annoying. Let me turn that. Okay, good. So, hi. Uh, this is Becky from Power Tools with Thread, and it's really early, and I almost forgot my name. <laughs> you are in our situation room. This is a Monday through Friday virtual stitching retreat where we might sew, we might tidy, you might do some cutting, uh, maybe some purging, organizing, or something like that. Or maybe you just want to snuggle up in your recliner or in your bed and let me hit cancel. Uh, you know, just hang out and watch for a while. So it's great to see everybody here this morning. Oh my goodness, lots and lots. I had some questions from yesterday. Yesterday we talked about alternative ways to create background quilting on your embroidery machine. And there were some questions about that. And then I had some questions for some other stuff too. So I printed them out. I got a hot mess back here, you guys. I'm getting ready to do uh, the Sweet Pea Double the Runner, Double the Love Table Runner at 10 o'clock today. I hope you can join me for that. So that's right. Story time's got that. Neither cold nor rain shall stop the stitching. Isn't it great to have a nice indoor thing? So I printed these out from comments on YouTube. I don't know if it could print any smaller. <laughs> Let me get my glasses. I just wanted to get this out of the way and do a little homework here. Let's see. I got to get these right side up. Okay. Um, let's see. Lots of chit chat about the weather. So on the Kimberbell mini quilts, someone said, can you use Luminaire quilt blocks? Um, she's not interested in purchasing additional background quilting. Uh, you certainly can. And that really was kind of the whole point yesterday was to show you that there are alternatives to being able to create uh, background quilting. Okay. So any of them, whether you get it from Designs by Juju, maybe you've got clear blue tiles from Kimberbell already, which is what I did in the January mini quilt. I used a clear blue tile. Um, I use clear blue tiles to, to um, hello, y'all, it's still early, to do the background quilting on all of those blocks. So ended up not using the actual background quilting from Kimberbell for that, for that particular project. So lots and lots of different choices out there. You might use the ones that are in your machine already, right? I mean, you paid for them already and they're there. You just have to find one you like and make it work. Okay. Um, so you'd love to learn how to do background quilting. Stephanie said, well, that's what we talked about yesterday. Okay. Let's see. Uh, nice uh, from Carol. She says, thank you for going over this. My baby lock unity does not have IQ design. Now I have several from D, uh, designs by Juju at the 60% off sale for future projects. I wish I had understood about the quilt blocks on Juju designs before uh, some other projects that she had done. Yeah. Uh, Y'all I'm all about getting um, the most out of what I've got on hand before I jump into another investment into something else. Okay. That's, that's really important to go ahead and take it. Now there are some people, especially with Kimberbell projects, people drink that Kimberbell Kool-Aid and y'all, I didn't make that phrase up. I heard about that in a Kimberbell class I had taken from a Kimberbell instructor. That's kind of a thing in their world is once you start with a Kimberbell project, there's something in somebody's brain. It happens every class. It, it happens in their brain and they just get like hooked on it and it's crazy. And Kimberbell has such a devoted legion of followers. It's incredible. And so when that happens and as Kim 
Christofferson says, who is the Kim of Kimberbell, you can't put a price on cute. And so regardless of the cost, folks are going to follow them and make their projects and do all of that. So uh, you also never, oh, so Judy says she'd never heard of a trimmer by George until this channel. Oh yeah, you're, you got to have that, got to have it, even for Kimberbell projects. So, you know, some folks are just, they just always want to do it and they want their project to look identical to the sample provided by Kimberbell. So they'll go ahead and buy every design, every background quilting design, doesn't matter. They are devout followers and those people are amazing. Okay. But then there are others who go, ah, my wallet, right? <laughs> and so, um, there's, there's nothing wrong with looking for alternative ways. Okay. Do I use in brilliance? Mary, this is a great question. Uh, yes, I do use in brilliance and I teach in brilliance. And if you are thinking about getting uh, computer software, uh, I'm sorry, getting software for your embroidery, then uh, that's a real good one to get because it's relatively uh, reasonably priced. And you only pay for what you need. I call it the Liberty Mutual of embroidery software. And then there is a ton of free education for it out on the internet. You can go to YouTube and type in Brilliance Tutorial and they'll just come up like crazy. So that's another option as well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Allison says, I'm worried about my wallet. I'm on the wallet end of that. So... <clears throat> Lots and lots of different options out there. I, you know, I'm just giving you this information for you guys to make your own decisions about how you want to do that. Um, let's see. We're all talking about Kimberbell. I love Kimberbell too. I do. I love it. That's why I'm doing their mini quilts. I, they are so stinking cute. And you know what? I've never had a fail on Kimberbell. They have the best instructions in the industry. Um, you can be brand new to machine embroidery. And you'll have success on a Kimberbell project if you follow it step by step. So, um, you know, no negative vibes here on Kimberbell at all. Absolutely love their projects. But, you know, you may not want to do the background quilting at all. That's also an option, too. That's why it doesn't come. The background quilting designs don't come in their little uh, in the hoop kits. So I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. You're not late, Mike, or Jeannie, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, Jeannie brought egg and cheese biscuits in the kitchen. So uh, we've got a virtual kitchen in our stitching retreat. It's on the other side of the room. Everything is fat and calorie free. I think you'll find some coffee over there as well. Please wander over and help yourself. That's just for fun, you guys. No other website to go to. <laughs> yeah, you're a juju addict. Okay, good. Um, Yes, Lisa, Lisa Shaw. So Pam has a, um, what you learn here, Lisa Shaw does hundreds of videos on Imbrilliance. She does. I love her. She's awesome. She's an Imbrilliance educator. And they, the team at Imbrilliance believe, believes in education uh, for free for you guys. So let's see. All right. So um, another thing we had talked about yesterday was... Uh, resizing designs. Now, one of the things I try to keep in mind here on this channel is that not everybody has a big Brother Luminaire or a Baby Lock Solaris or one of those other high-end machines that you could probably buy a used car instead, but you bought an embroidery machine. So, or you may not have thousands of dollars worth of embroidery software. Now, not the same for Imbrilliance. Imbrilliance can resize designs. But one of the things I try to do when I talk about resizing designs on here is err on the side of caution, okay? Because if you have a machine that can resize a design, if it has the brains to, to add or remove stitches, that's great. But when... When I'm talking about things here, I try to keep in mind people like who started like me with the little brother PE 70, 770, or maybe they have the PE 800, or maybe even they've got a brother 1600. Okay. 
Even my NQ 3700D doesn't have the brains to be able to recalculate stitches. So if you enlarge that design too much, you might end up with skip stitches and we don't want that, okay? So if you want to ever resize a design, let's do this, always run a test, okay? Deborah Jones from Dime says, there are those who test and those who wish they did. So you want to be real careful about that, especially if you have a fill. If you've got a design with a fill versus like a just a line design, like for background quilting we were talking about, if you've got a fill, you can actually end up with gaps because the machine did not understand or the software, depending on your software, because there's all different quality of software out there too, you guys. So just uh, kind of keep that in mind. If you have a machine that can recalculate stitches like the Luminaire can, then you'll probably be okay on resizing, but just always do a test, okay? I don't want you guys to mess up, um, you know, your pretty fabric and all of that. So, okay. But I'm going to stand by it. I'm going to stand by what I said yesterday. Not, not, um, not recalculating, not, not enlarging by more than half an inch. Uh, Julie from Designs by Juju told me that and I'm, she's the pro. So, right. Okay. <laughs> At a girl. There you go, story time. She says, don't be calling me about it. Hubby <laughs> said, pick out a machine and didn't specify. <laughs> Got herself a 10 needle. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Somebody loved what they heard, so they were going to make a pot holder. That's great. Um, yeah, and then lady had her 10 needle for three years and had never used Design Center. She did it today. When it came to changing the size, you mentioned the addition of a keypad. I don't have that. I just updated the software and still don't have it. Any tips? Yes, they did not add the keypad to the PR models of machines. They only added it to the Luminaire. Don't know if it's on the Stellaire or not, but they did not add it to the luminaire. Okay. So here's a, yeah, let's see. So Dana has a brother essence 5,400, but she's only done Kimber Bell. She hasn't ventured out and still learning. Yeah. Baby steps. And Kimber Bell is an absolutely great way to start. Nothing wrong with that at all. Okay. What you're doing with Kimberbell that I really like is that you are being exposed to different uh, textiles to incorporate into your embroidery. So you might be using some pleather. You might be using some, you'll learn techniques about snipping stitches on the back of the design in order to create a fray effect on the outside. That's really cool. Uh, so, you know, there's all kinds of different things. You're going to work with clear vinyl. You're going to work with applique. It's not on the Stellaire 2, Billy Lou. Thank you. I wasn't sure. Not on the Stellaire, Julianne says. Yeah. So the now the Stellaire, the little app, that might recalculate some stitches for you, right? If you try to make it bigger in the app. I don't know. I haven't played with that on the Stellaire. So, um, you know, we and testing. Yeah, great. Great, Connie. Excellent. Connie's been testing her quilting designs on pot holders. Boom. That's how you do it. If you have a fail, no big deal. Still useful. Shove it in the drawer in the kitchen, right? <laughs> I have umpteen uh, towels in my kitchen that are fails. <laughs> so, uh, all right, here we go. There it is right there. She enlarged a design by Juju Gnome for a door welcome hanger, and it threw off the stitch registration a hair. That's a thing, too, the registration. So what she's talking about there, thank you for sharing that, Carol. What she's talking about there, if you've got a fill, and that's where I was talking about a fill, a lot of embroidery designs will have a dark, like a black outline that will go around the outside of a fill or the outside of a design or something like that. And if you alter the size of the design, and it's not every design, you guys, I'm not talking black and white, okay? That's why you need to test. 
But if you alter the size of the design, you may see some fabric in between the edge of the fill stitch and that black outline. Now you're dragging out your Sharpies, okay? But that was because of altering the design from what the digitizer digitized it as, all right? Um, these digitizers do an enormous amount of work, most of them, Designs by Juju does, and so does Kimberbell, an enormous amount of work to make sure that your design that you paid for is going to stitch exactly like it looks like online. And um, why is there a black line? I'll be, sometimes it's just an outline, like a cartoon will have a black line around all of the, you know, it's just like a cartoon. Okay. So applique does not like enlargement. You got to be careful with applique for sure. Yes, you have to be careful. We got to test it. Yeah. So there's all kinds of, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Linda, she's funny. She did all these and need a good design. <laughs> Tons of discs she never used. Got into Kimberbell. Yeah, now she's the mug rug queen. That's cool. Yeah. So there are, uh, and Avi's asking about the black line because she's very new to embroidery. So if you're brand new to embroidery and you're just dabbing, you know, dipping your toe into the water, I, I don't recommend resizing. Okay. I really don't. So, um, I cannot, um, I I'm not going to sit here and say resize away, you guys, it'll be fine. Cause it won't <laughs> most of the time. It won't, unless you've got a very high end machine that can recalculate stitches for you, or you have some software that does it, but even in software, test it first, always run a test. Okay. So I'm not going to, um, Connie, you can't find that keyboard on the XP3 upgrade. I did the XP3 upgrade. I only saw it in Design Center, Connie. It was in Design Center. So it's not in the regular, like hit embroidery and resize. It's not there, I don't think. It's in Design Center. Yeah. Would you? What happened, Jude? You weren't supposed to say what? Your comment left. I don't, I didn't, I didn't delete any comments. Anyway. All right. I'm not going to beat that horse anymore. Okay. Yeah. Connie, uh, dig around in design center. I think you'll find it there. So it's always fun to learn new stuff about our machines, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I had this great idea. I was going to make another luggage tag with y'all this morning. Cause you know what? So we leave for the cruise on Saturday. So in sale 13, so it's, it's a scan and cut masterclass. So we leave for the cruise on Saturday. I don't have a luggage tag. I haven't made my door hanger. <laughs> I haven't packed. I don't have a thing ready. <laughs> Ooh, there's butter cake in the kitchen. Thank you, Debbie. All right. Okay. So I didn't have enough of the aqua colored pleather to make another luggage tag, I've got my, um, my iPad is back here charging with the instructions to do this. And I've got, um, what I, I was going to make it, I have black pleather. So I was going to make, make it out of black. Okay. This is not, it's got a matte, kind of a matte finish a little bit like real leather. And then I've got my piece of vinyl and then I have some cave fabric I would otherwise never use in a million years. So, oh good, Pam is thanking you all for your design center info yesterday. We're so helpful here together, aren't we? It's great. So, Emily, I, I quilted the hallelujah wall hanging with, uh, that was designs by Juju end to end. I did the background quilting first. I think, I can't remember. That was years ago. <laughs> that was years ago. Yeah. I think I've got it in the video how I did it. I can't remember. Years ago, my friend. I could use the pink and orange thread. Yeah, I could. And then I got stuck on needing a zipper because I love this. These, 
y'all, this is um, Incredit Thread from Sweet Pea. Highly recommend. I've been stitching with this for some time. I've never had a problem with it. So if you ever come across, you go to sweetpea.com. I've got a link to it below too. But if, if you are just to Sweet Pea's website, I think for the Double the Love Table Runner. But if you jump over there, get you some. If you ever see this and you go, oh, oh, that's beautiful. I wonder if it works well. It does. I love it. I've been using it for a long time. So look at this. I had got this several Easter's ago. So look at the color palette. Isn't that nice? All the ones with the holes in them I've been using. Nice, nice. The only one that doesn't, that's still in the wrapper is this blue. Isn't that beautiful? And then <clears throat> I made a bobbin of the yellow and I stuck, I, I'll pull it up in a minute. I stuck the bobbin down in there beside it. See it? Next, right next to the yellow, I put the bobbin in there. Same color bobbin. Because you need a bobbin of the same color to work on this. But I didn't want to use yellow around the outsides. I think I want to use the lime. Y'all, this is where I freeze up on colors. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to give you guys the choice because we'll never finish that decision. I'm going to pick three, and then I want you guys to tell me which color I should use for the outer stitching, okay? Now, this is going on the black, and we're going to use the K fabric for the pocket outer stitching. What color? I'm making a luggage tag. You're going to take me to work with you, Marianne? Don't put me to work. I don't want to do it. <laughs> um, the pink or the purple, I think I'm down to two. There's no green in that fabric. I'll use green elsewhere in the design. Pink or the purple? The mint green, green, green. Pink, purple, purple. Everybody's jumping on, jumping on the purple for the, okay. Purple it is, y'all. Thank you. See? You guys are awesome. <laughs> so that means now I need to make a bobbin out of my purple. So I've got, because that's going to be the stitching on the edge of the strap as well. This is from Creative Appliques. And I have a video, a live that I did with Dawn from Creative Appliques, the digi Creative Appliques, plural, the digitizer for this. And, um, it's an awesome little design and I've got a permanent coupon code to creative appliques. It's PTWT 10 power tools with thread 10 PTWT 10 for 10% off. And that's her entire site. And it's a permanent coupon. Okay. So I need a bobbin out of this. Let me get a bobbin. I need a bobbin, an empty one, a bobbin shell. I need to move you guys so I can find one. I went through yesterday. I was so proud of myself. I was stitching on, um, get work, still working on this uh, Double the Love Table Runner. Today, we're going to put together one piece of applique, and then we're going to put attach it to the back, or attach it all together. So that takes about an hour or so. What color is my luggage? Keith loves purple, free spirit. He's from K-State. <laughs> More like this color purple, though. So anyway, I've been working on this and um, I embroidered, this is on the end. It says the Thompsons and then the other end is going to say established 2001 on the other end. Aw. <laughs> I think I'll use that lime green for the sewing machine dot. Yeah, the lime green will work. So anyway, we're going to finish uh, putting this last heart together today and then putting the ends on in the backing. So that's what we're going to do. Um, you know, and I got a little overwhelmed with all of the scrappiness and went into my stash and I just did the same fabric behind all the hearts. So, yeah, I know we're mushy. It's stupid. <laughs> anyway, so yesterday while I was doing the embroidery around all the hearts, I was doing it on the 10 needle 
And I have a little bin in my uh, my cabinet that Spanky, my 10 needle sits on. I use a 75 11 needle with pleather. Yes, I do. The table runner pattern, Shannon, is from Sweet Pea. And it's uh, sweep, SWPEA.com. But I've got a link to it below. And then at 10 o'clock today, we're going to put it all together so you can look at it some more. Now, all of the fabric kits are gone from Two Chicks Quilting. My my little shirt I'm wearing, That's this is a shop shirt for Two Chicks Quilting. You guys bought those out. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, Polly, you're mushy after 35 years. Good for you. That's great. So I keep all of these little, I, I barely have any bobbin thread left. These are the Filtech magnetic bobbins. And I have barely any left. Okay, so I throw them into a little bin. Well, yesterday I used up finishing that. I used whoops, I used up seven of these little things. I was very proud of myself going through and using that. Now I had to stop a bunch, you know, run out of bobbin and use it, and run out of bobbin and use it. So it was fine. But yeah, that's what I do with those. I felt very. Y'all, that's 0 0.001 cent worth of thread, but it just made me feel better. <laughs> no, you added an extra heart to yours. Y'all, I got to show you what Betty Boop did with hers. I, She's so creative. That that sweet pea boxed thread is called an Incredit thread. This one... Le Betty Boop just texted me. She says, what's the name of that? This is the, it, the essentials and credit thread 40 weight is easy care. Does not shrink at high temperatures. Can be steam ironed. Excellent color fastness. Will not be damaged by detergents. Yeah. So this is on Sweet Pea's website. They are carrying their own threads. Okay. I don't want to dump it everywhere, you guys. Let's see. I picked this up. Now, this recommended needle size is 65 slash 110. I'm using 7511. Yeah. Um, it can withstand many washables, suitables for buttonholes and sewing rolled hems with a serger. They also have cones of this. And uh, Annette from Sweet Pea, I saw her at market in Houston last year. Um, she gave me a, some of their cones to try out on the long arm. So I'm going to be doing that. Yeah. I like the poly thread too, because of the lack of lint. Yep. You play Bob and roulette all the time, Bernadette. <laughs> That's funny. Bob and roulette. I love it. But this stuff, this stuff is great. I love it. And they have lots of different palettes of different colors. Okay. All righty. So what was I talking about before? Oh, I was going to show you guys what Betty Boop did with her table runner. She did such a great job. Let me pull this up. And um, she used embroidery software. Okay. And put hearts on the end. Look at that. Didn't that come out good? How about that? Beautiful stuff. She does great work. Yep. So the pattern has nothing on the end. It's blank. And you can put whatever you want on there. And mine, uh, my mushy little, you know, the Thompsons, uh, that, that's a font that was inside my 10 needle. I didn't even use software. I just, I made a, uh, I'll show you. I put SF 101 on the back. You're actually looking at the back of it. So I put SF 101 on the back. Okay. So it wouldn't pucker too badly. All right. My camera is mirrored, you guys. And then I just used cutaway stabilizer. Okay. But this font is inside. And then I used friction fine line markers to find center. 
Okay. That's it. And the piece I got in my kit was four and a half. So after I stitched it, I trimmed off a quarter of an inch on each side because it's the, the my piece needs to be four by four by 14 or something like that. Four by 11 and a half, something. Anyway. Yeah, she did a great job on that. Okay. Yeah, Betty Boop does good work. She does good work. The pattern is from Sweet Pea, Double the Love Table Runner. <clears throat> Got a link below. Hey, you guys, y'all need to use my links <laughs> because a couple of you bought T-shirts yesterday <clears throat> from uh, Be Inspired Tees. And you just went there and got your shirts, which is great. But I've got a coupon code for you guys below. So always check down below and save a little bit of money. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I was ready to get rocking and rolling on this luggage tag from Creative Appliques. Oh, I got to make my bobbin. But my hang up was the zipper. Yeah, I couldn't get the uh, the teeth on the zipper. That the pull, I couldn't get it on the zipper. I'll let you guys watch what I'm doing here. I need to make a bobbin. First thing, I got to empty this one. I'm going to reuse an old bobbin. The coupon code did not work. Really? PTWT was it 10 or 15 did not work? You got no gaps. You're turning the hearts vertical and it's good for you. Okay, good. Is that thread as good as Isocord? Billy Lou wants to know. Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't recommend it if it wasn't. My machine, my luminaire, and my 10 needle both. All of my brother machines. Love it. It's wonderful thread. I have had no problems with it. Okay. Let me put this pink down. I don't, I know I'm not going to use this today. I got to get with the program, y'all. I've been dawdling. It's not like I haven't been doing anything. I'm just busy, right? Been dawdling. Okay. I'm, we finally, we put the dogs back out in their boxes last night instead of letting them sleep with us. And oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I haven't gotten hardly any sleep. My dog Harley snores. She sounds like a train. She's so loud. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Did I? No. She snores like a train. And so I don't get any sleep. <laughs> that dog. All righty. Frito's nice and quiet, but Harley, let's see. Follow the thread guides, Becky. Um, in through here around this and back and this way. There we go. Okay. Keith, I think Keith got the dogs up already because I, I hear him talking to him. Let's see. I am very busy. Aren't coupons codes great? All right. Let's see. This on. And start. There we go. Let's get a bobbin rocking and rolling for the outside. So the reason I'm making a uh, colored bobbin that matches the top thread is because you're going to see the stitching on both sides of this pleather. I got a hoop, some tearaway stabilizer. All done. There we go. Tanya, I get my magnetic bobbins from Amazon. I have them in my Amazon store. Power to it's amazon.com slash shop slash power tools with thread. And there is a section for Amazon uh, Amazon for embroidery favorites. I don't need this anymore. 
I was using metallic thread for something. Okay. And I don't even know if I have the embroidery pattern. I think it's on my USB. I think. Let me see. Is it? No, it's not. Ah, oh, no. Dang it. Let me go to machine. Did I put it in the machine? I don't have it, y'all. Ah, fail. Dang it. <laughs> Burr. I bet that Mastiff snores. Oh, my word. They're terrible. All righty. So I need to get that luggage tag design over to my luminaire. Let's let in brilliance come to the rescue. I need to open up my, uh, my bag tag. Let me see if I can find it. And I go to embroidery. You guys can't see what I'm doing. I've got it in bags and totes. I don't have it on this particular laptop. Of course not. Of course I don't. Jeez. Yeah, that's going to have to wait. Okay. You guys don't want to watch me poke around. Carol says her orange tabby falls asleep in her lap. <laughs> he gets a lap while you're watching me. That's sweet. How do you get matching colored bobbins for the PR 1055? Good question. So what I did <clears throat> is I bought, where do I have them? Uh, I bought that bobbin. It's a metal bobbin. Okay. And it's the size L, size L, okay? And then on, I know on the Janome MB7 that I used to have, it had an onboard bobbin winder, and it would work with that size. The PR, brother PR machines do not have an onboard bobbin winder, so you would need to either, I, I recommend getting a bobbin winder that is universal, that will work. I have, let me show you guys. I've got cords everywhere here, y'all. Uh, good thing everything's on wheels. I got cords everywhere. Let me pull this off so I can get around. The bobbin winder that I use, and you're going to want to get one of these. If you've got a PR machine, look at this hot mess I have over here of all these zippers. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Let me zoom you in here a little bit so you can see. Okay, this is called a HEMA Pro bobbin winder this thing it's a hema pro okay i keep a cord of a, a thing of white poly on here was the last thing i used but this is a universal bobbin winder okay and you can make your own bobbins of any size so i use this to make my bobbins this is the size here the l this is the size that's used by that brother PR machine, the 1055 and probably the 1052, okay, as well. Not Okay, so I make them, I'll make about, you know, however many of them I need up because this is the same size bobbin that goes in my NQ, the um, PQ1500, okay? So the HEMA Pro, Sorry, y'all. Wasn't planning on doing that. But I got that bobbin winder not only for that machine, those two machines, but also for the long arm. Okay. If you have a grace machine, then there's an onboard. If you have a, a grace long arm, there's an onboard bobbin winder. 
me put my cable back on my camera or it's going to get mad at me. Hold on. I'm going to plug it in, guys. You got to have power or things go wonky. Sorry. You got to see it. Okay. Yeah, so I use that Hema Pro bobbin winder to also make the size M bobbins for the long arm. Okay. That is in my Amazon store. Yes. The universal bobbin winder is in my, that's where I got it was, uh, at Amazon. Yeah. So, ah, your bobbin winder what, broke after one week. You know, I know I used to have one of those Remember, simplicity had that little bobbin winder, that little thing, that thing was a POS. Let's see. I like glide too. that glide thread. Yeah, um, that bobbin winder is this close to being industrial. It's got a big old honking cord on it and everything. <clears throat> you buy glide bobbins. And yeah, they're great. Uh, the glide bobbins are wonderful. But, you know, if you're going to be doing something on your multi-needle where you want, like, say, freestanding lace, well, you need to make your own bobbin so that, the, you know, it's the same on the back as it is the front. So... Will it, will it also wind the big Bernina bobbins? Yes, ma'am. The only thing that needs, that is standard on that Hema Pro bobbin winder is the post. So as long as the hole in the center of the bobbin, of the Bernina bobbin, is the same as every other bobbin, then it'll work. Because, and as a matter of fact, I don't, it's got two little um, foot things that are designed to stop it. I don't use those. I just kind of keep an eye on it and hit the stop button when it gets full and then cut it. So um, I wrap, Kim just bought that bobbin winder. She's going to try it this weekend. Kim, I wrap my uh, thing around it twice, the thread around the tension disc twice. There is a link below the video to my Amazon store. Yes. Thank you, Betty Boop. You have a couple of surgeries behind me. <laughs> I do. So um, that's just a plain serger. That's the newest one. I haven't used it yet. That's my uh, serger cover stitch combo from Brother. Brand new. I haven't used it. So, yeah. Got lots. You know what? You, you think you don't need a serger till you need one. Then all of a sudden it's like, oh, so I use my. Um, you think the hole in the Bernina bobbin is a bit bigger? Mm. Why do why do they do that? <laughs> That's so annoying. <clears throat> but can't. Well, the a Bernina machine has its own bobbin winder, right? So you wouldn't have to worry about that. The, the PR1055 does not have an onboard bobbin winder and it uses a different size than standard. It doesn't use these little white or these little clear bobbins like you can buy, you know, at Walmart. It doesn't have that. So, Marge, I have just found, she wants to know why I wind the thread around the tension disc twice. I get a smoother up and down as it goes. It's just a little smoother. It's just a little extra drag and that provides a nice smooth, uh, wind. Um, also I wind the thread on that HEMA pro. I wind the thread counterclockwise on the bobbin. Okay. Counterclockwise to get it started. Hi, Frito. Good morning. There's my baby girl. Hi, baby. Good morning. Say hello. Yeah, this is Frito. If you're new, she's our rescue. She comes and says hello every morning. Yeah. Hello. You're such a good girl. Mama loves you. And y'all, if I don't say hello to her, she'll get her feelings hurt. And she'll give me the back all day, you know, with the attitude. Can I show how I wind it? Oh, you guys. I'm not said I'd have to move the camera. I mean, I can go get it and plug it in over here. Do you guys want a demo of that? We got 15 minutes left. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. 
I can get it. I'd have to go over there, unplug it. I tell you what, we'll do it tomorrow. How's that? We'll talk about we'll talk about bobbins tomorrow. How's that? <laughs> I just find that that universal bobbin winder just is a lot better for me uh, to use. No, we don't want to see that. So I just find that that's a lot better for me to use um, to make those size L and size M bobbins. Okay. For that thread, Billy Lou, just um, if you click on the double the love table runner that's underneath the video, it'll jump you to the sweet pea site and then it's there. And they have a, a menu on their thing for thread and you can find it. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about the bobbin winder then tomorrow morning. I'll give you guys. All right. You guys, as soon as I get done here, I'll make sure that there's a link directly in the video right below in the description box. I'll put the link to the bobbin winder and I'll put in a direct link to the thread. Okay. I promise. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, okay. The Dritz quick turn fabric tube turners aren't bringing up. Wendy, they might all be gone. Yeah. I'll look for some more. I'll look for some more. Okay. I got to make notes. You guys, I got to make a, I got to make a uh, luggage tag and make notes. Uh, All righty. Oh, you found it. You just need to keep scrolling. Yeah. Sometimes I'll link to a page where it is versus just a specific one, because if I link to a specific thing and it sells out, now you're stuck. So I'll link to a page. You just saw it. It's already there. Thank you, Linda. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Can I also add the link back for the Yazzie bags? Chris, I'm pretty sure it's there. It's way down. I'll look. I'll look. I promise. Y'all, there are 4 million links under my videos, and you guys want the one. <laughs> do I do anything different to wind the bobbin on the Luminaire? No, not a bit. I just wound one, and it worked fine. Worked just fine. Oh, you know what? Valerie, my sidekick, she told me, she made a quilt on her serger. They had a uh, make a quilt with a serger class. She took that the other day at Fiberworks and she sent me a picture. It turned out cute. Yep. Okay. I'll take a look, Billy Lou. I will find all that, all that stuff for you guys. So, so um, also I just added in, I want to show you guys, let me pull up my blog um, so that y'all can see. I added a new uh, vendor to the blog. This is annoying. Hold on a minute. So let me pull up my blog. My blog is powertoolswiththread.com. Okay. And okay. Jump to here. All right. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. I'm going to go to present and share screen. Anytime you're looking for links to something uh, that you know, I, I've talked about having a coupon code for it. Okay. I'm sharing my screen. This is my blog, powertoolswiththread.com. Okay. Not Power Tools with Thread Store. This is just the blog. All right. And I've got a link here, shop PTWT links. And if you're on a mobile device, it might be the three little lines and tap that. So you can shop Power Tools with Thread links. This is where you can get to uh, there's a permanent coupon code for all about blanks. Here's my Amazon store. You can click on that, start there, whatever it works. Um, here's the Amy. So scan and cut create box. I was talking to Amy last night. She let me know they just opened up the scan and cut create box again last night, and they've got 25 slots available. So if you are interested in taking classes for your scan and cut, you can click on that and go over there and sign up for that. And um, you can get just the class or you can get the class and the box. And the box is cool because you always get very, very cool things in the box. Okay. We have connecting threads, creative appliques. There's that luggage tag I was telling you about. I'm going to move. I'm going to use. There's a permanent coupon code for 10% off. 
All right. And then I just added flexi spot, the height adjustable standing desk. That's what I've got right here. I'll show you guys. So I have that one. And then um, you can get free. If you want to shop from a brother dealer, you can get free shipping from Mull Queens in Arizona with coupon code or promo code PTWT gives you free shipping. All right. We've got my girlfriend's quilt shop, OESD. Here's our store site where you can get seam rippers. There are none right now. They're zeroed out in the store because Keith made 30 of them to take on the cruise that we're leaving on on Saturday. 15% off permanent code for sew tights. Okay. Here's 15% off permanent for Yazzie bags right there. All right. Uh, Urban Elements, Two Chicks Quilting, all of these, you guys. Um, lots and lots. Okay. So if you are ever interested in getting embroidery type things for the most part, that's where you can start. When you use my links, I make a commission. It helps me enormously. And so does my discount code work for Canadian customers? Liz, that is up to the vendor. If it works, it should. I don't know why. It's up to them if they do shipping to Canadian customers, but it should. I don't know. I'll tell you that. I'll be honest. I don't know, but it should. <clears throat> oh, good. Kim ordered from Mo Queens with my link and used the code and got the trimmer by George. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So that's just, you know, it's just a way I know, you know, to help me out, you guys give a thumbs up, definitely share it. I love when you share my channel, but this is, um, this is how I make my living now, you guys, in order to be, uh, to help the channel continue. And, uh, so it's just, you're going to buy it anyway. Uh, I really appreciate you, uh, helping me out as much as you, as, as possible, if you use those links. Now, some of those links I don't make any commission on. But what it does is it shows that vendor that you are watching me. And again, that's a way of sharing information. And they see that. Can I show the trimmer by George tomorrow? Actually, I'm going to show Judy. I'm going to show the trimmer by George today at 10 o'clock because we're going to trim out a block uh, on that sweet pea table runner. So, But I, I don't have a block that needs trimmed. Yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, Wendy's off to work. Have a good day, Wendy. So, yeah. So your long arm came with a bobbin winder. Yeah, I've used the uh, the onboard bobbin winder on the Grace machine to wind other bobbins. Sure, I've done that. You're glad to know how this works. Well, Linda's new here. Well, hi, Linda. Thank you so much for uh, spending some time with us. Car Carl, is that Carrie? I can't see Carrie. Thank you so much, Carrie. Carrie popped me a super sticker. That's very thoughtful. Thank you so much. You're very generous. I appreciate that. What time do you need to come back? Pam, be back here at 10 a.m. Central. I've got a live scheduled and uh, we will be putting that table runner together today. So you're going to learn some tips and tricks about doing block by block table runners or any kind of in the hoop projects how to put them together. Uh, we're going to do um, some trimming with the trimmer by George. So do you need to prep anything for the 10 a.m. class? Shannon wants to know. So the pattern, I've, I've been talking about this for a while. So the pattern is out there. You don't need to prep anything. Okay. What I'm going to show you in the 10 a.m. class is how to do applique on a single needle. And then we're going to trim the block. We're going to sew everything together and finish it out. Okay. I'm in Lavernia, Texas, just southeast of San Antonio. Traveling quilter. Yeah, I'm just southeast of San Antonio. I need to go pack something. I know, Jamie. <laughs> I'll pack on uh, Friday. We leave Saturday morning at 820. So I've got an 820 flight. You have a question about the Yazzie bag. No, I do not sell Yazzie bags in my Amazon store. Not at all. No, uh, I don't. So when you click on my Yazzie bag link, like on my blog, you're, it's going to jump you directly to uh, Yazzie. You won't have that middleman in between of Amazon. So, and she ships out of Paducah, Kentucky. 
So you're going to, it's, you do get us shipping, even though it's, uh, she's in Australia. Uh, Yasmeet is in Australia. They're made in India on treadle machines. And then she ships out of Paducah. Thank you, Dawn. You're so thoughtful. Thank you so much. I've got my pirate gear, Catherine. I, do you have yours? Catherine says, don't forget your pirate gear. <laughs> We're going to have pirate night on the ship. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh my goodness. You're hilarious. Oh, Y'all was going to sneeze. Oh, pardon me. Ooh, that's hilarious. I'm ready with my pirate gear. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys, our hour is up. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I know that there are a lot of channels you can watch on YouTube. And um, it it is uh, my pleasure that you spend your time with me. Uh, I love it when you share my channel with your friends and your guilds. And uh, you never know what to thank you so much. Y'all are all, bless you, because <laughs> I'm tight, right? Yeah. So uh, thank you. I appreciate the blessings. All right, y'all. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow morning. We'll talk about that Bob Winder tomorrow. And if you've got time, I hope you can pop in at 10 a.m. Central where we're going to finish up that table runner. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.